All right, we uh, we should be good here. Hello, everybody. Good morning. It is like it is about to be 9 a.m. Although, uh, man, thank God I'm not Pacific, because uh, oh boy, that is six in the morning for them. I um, I messaged Shin and uh, asked him if he was gonna get on for this, because I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> but I don't blame him, because it's like six in the morning for him. It's like, a man's probably asleep, right? Like I'm like, I cannot blame this dude. Um, you know, if he like forgot about this. I honestly thought this was starting tomorrow, because apparently it's like over three days, which... Um, I'm only going to be around for the one day. They're going to be showing off some gameplay, and I think on the third day it's going to be... I don't remember. I think it's the second day is a gameplay, but then like the third day is like a community day, which is really cool. I know like RX Gaming is going to be there. So I'm like, it's cool, but I'm not going to stick around to watch that, because I got other stuff to do. But this is the one that I'm going to tune in for. Oh, so what's up, Shreon? And good morning to you, too. Uh, apparently you said I'll turn it, you could go back to sleep, yeah. Okay, and chat's working. Good. Oh, how's audio, by the way, Shreon? I know I ask every time, but... Just gotta make sure. Um, sounds fine right now. Okay. God, the music in Rise is still great. I think this was confirmed to be potentially the, like, arena theme, but... I fucking love it, man. I think Rise is gonna have probably my favorite soundtrack in the series. It's dangerously high. World was pretty good, but man. I think my favorite was like For You. Until uh, hearing some of Rise's stuff, which I'm really liking. But yeah, I don't know what to expect with this. Um, they already showed off the Wyvern writing, you know, in a previous um, event. They showed off... I think it was called Rampage, or, um, I think it's, like, some sort of, like, siege or, like, a coliseum, like, you know, thing with, like, I think three or four monsters in it, which looked insane before. I don't know what they could possibly announce here, unless we're gonna get a breakdown, um, as to certain changes from, you know, World and Iceborne to this. I'm not sure. But, uh, we'll see what else they could announce, but... Well, aside from the obvious, like... <laughs> I'm stopping myself mid-thought, because I'm like, well, duh, they could just announce new monsters, which is a given, but, you know, I don't know what else, like, mechanically they would announce here. Maybe they'd finally talk about, like, um, there being, like, a third wyvern art. Or they're not wyvern, a wirebug. Sorry, it's early. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, take a lot to the throne for you for me personally. Yeah, for you is, like, the top right now, but if Ryze can do it, you know. Rampages are fucking insane. Sneak peek at the boss, Hollow Dragon. True. True, maybe. But hey, what's up, Nep? I'm just doing this solo because I thought Shin was going to be here, but uh, it's early, so. We'll see. Uh, as always, though, if you guys hear any. Oh, I didn't say anything major, Nep. Uh, don't worry. But if you guys hear anything, you know, audio balance-wise I need to fix, let me know. Do we need to hear the stream a little bit better? Hey, what's up, Vex? Oh yeah, Stories 2 as well. I still haven't played the original. I I don't have the time for it right now, though, sadly, so I'm like... Oh, man. It'll be there. I've heard the first one's pretty good. Looks really nice. Yeah, I like the art style for uh, stories. I just don't know much about the gameplay. All right, here we go, people. Hello, everyone. I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. I'm here Man, I would love to, to just buy one of those uh, promotional <laughs> standees. Monster Hunter Stories 2: Wings of Ruin. Hope you enjoy the show. Oh man, but of course I gotta start with stories too. They know let's have a look at the latest they know what we want. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. But before we jump like into the details, Chris check circle. out the new trailer. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. 
Actually, I don't even know if they said that this is, like, continuity, like, in-universe from, like, the first game or not. I would not know. Crack a sewing circle with you, Vex. <laughs> the only summoning circles I have is Nagakuga and Brachidios. That's it. All riders have to strike out Everything else, I'm like, all right, I'll live with that. God, I do love the art style, though. Very good cell shading. Apparently there was, like, a mobile port of the first game, which I don't know how well that did. Come with me, please. I just know this Rathalos will help us once it hatches. Kamizu. That is true, yeah. Not a lot of people got excited when Mizu showed up and rise. A monster that laid waste to the village Unless you meant with the trailer. Place. I thought we were talking about the monster and Rise, I'm not sure. So you're saying that but either way, same. <laughs> no. It's the poster boy, of course. Should this Rathalos hatch and awaken to its Astalo, same. You will be to blame for what happens. Are you prepared to take that risk? Rathalos aren't monsters to worship, or to make bonds with. Don't you get it? They're nothing but dangerous pests. <laughs> Don't back down, buddy. Sorry, I kind of laugh at that line because I know uh, they say that, and yet Rathalos literally is the poster boy for the series, so... Capcom internal begs to differ. Stories went surprisingly hard at times. Cool. Yeah, I'd love to check it out. It's just... Oh my god, I do not have the time. And the all these gaming events, by the way, they keep happening. Holy shit, wait, there's like online co-op? Or is this local only? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, July, cool. God, that went so fast, I was trying to read everything. Well, alrighty then. Oh, they have their own amiibos, too, Jesus. Two days before my birthday, but... I don't know if there's continuity, so it's like... Even then, I Not certainly won't have time. More intriguing plot points, but Naviru, the protagonist's partner Ginger from the Sack, yeah. installment in the series, also made an appearance. He'll be along for the ride this time as well. The trailer also revealed that Honestly, the egg entrusted with contains Because let's Ratha, see. A monster with black wings. I'll be playing Cold Steel 3 on PC. But then I'll be doing Rise in a few days, or like um over two weeks Naviru, from now. Then there's the near remake. The what is there in May? About the game's characters and monsters, please check out the newly updated official website. I think May is like the only month where there's nothing major coming out for me right now. In the trailer, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Jesus Christ. will have a worldwide release date of July 9th, 2021. Looks good though. I have no idea how much uh, the first game sold, though, Next, we'd like to as far as the West. Information. But it looks like it did well enough. In addition to the standard edition, we are pleased to introduce the deluxe edition. Honestly, edition of all the spin-offs that Monster Hunter has had with, like, weird mobile content, ports and stuff, such as armor, the Stories is probably the only spin-off I would consider uh, checking out at some point. As a bonus, you can Which is weird. You would think they would, like... Anna have better spinoffs at this point with how old the series is. But I don't know. These are probably going to be very expensive later on, by the way. If you're even remotely interested, maybe pick these up day one, because otherwise I cannot see these getting restocked. Oh boy. This is like hyper niche amiibo. <laughs> It has evolved. As well as a small daily bonus. We hope you're as excited about them as we are. 
The physical and digital versions of the game, including the deluxe edition, will be available for pre-order soon. Can niche amiibo only now? Yes. For more details regarding pre-orders, please visit the official website. Yo, the second the Pyra and Mithra Lastly, amiibo come out, though, I have to get those immediately. In this game and Sephiroth. It up with Monster Hunter Rise. If you have saved data for Monster Hunter Rise, you can receive Kumura Garb, special layered armor for the player, which resembles the Hunter's gear in that game. Development continues on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin as we prepare for its July 9th, 2021 release. You know, I actually haven't looked into what the studio is that makes the Stories games. I don't know if it's internal or if it's another uh, company. Never looked that up. All right, let's dive into the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise, which yes. on March Give me the 26th. goods. We have a new trailer for you today, so take a look. All right, all right, what do we got? What do we got here? I have many questions. Yeah, <laughs> my boy. Let's go. Oh, it worked. Oh, shit. Yes. Had to have both of these in the game. There's no way. These are some of the most popular monsters in the series, man. Fucking bet. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I love it. Love it already. Oh my god. A huge pack of like those two monsters just down. demand your attention from second one. I love it. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. Vocal Zenogar theme. God, it sounds great, though. Oh, this is, like, probably my favorite new one, by the way. The one that kind of looks like an Oni. I love its design. I forget its name, though. I'll get used to it the more I play. Good lord. Can't come soon enough. It's so weird to still hear them in English. Oh, what's up, Owie? How you do? Don't take this person off. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them with English. I might go back to Monster Hunter speak or Japanese. Who knows? A language is my fave. Pretty much, like, there's something about not being able to tell, because it's like... I don't know. It's just what I'm used to, so... I'm glad they gave us the option, right? Holy shit! Oh, I want to see the rest of that turf battle. God. Also, that area they fought the other dragon, and reminded me of, um... What is that? Oh god, it was a weird upside down angle. I'm trying to make sense of that shit. <laughs> I couldn't really tell its face because it was upside down. Mount on the Rise logo. Man, you're cut you're right though. You're fucking right. But why is there two of them? Everything we've announced so far, including the trailer you just saw. PC and Switch version crossplay, same. I'm getting both regardless, but yeah. It should be a thing that like, I don't know why. Let's talk about the wire bug, not even, the actually, here's the thing. Crossplay would be nice, cross. but I'm not sure they do that. But, like, I would at the very least want cross save, damn it. Because I was going to say, at least cross save should be standard by now, damn it. You can also run along high walls until like, there's no reason cross save can't be a thing when other games have done Switch and PC cross save. Crossplay, eh. Japan's still not really on board with that. The wire bug adds a lot of mobility to your moveset like this. 
Yo, I like that dive though. Switch skills, a completely new feature to expand your hunter's move set. Oh my god. Wait a minute, wait a minute. As you progress in the game, you'll unlock the ability to switch out certain regular attacks and self-find attacks at will. What? To create your own hunting style. You can change your standard attacks? The full game will have additional silk find attacks that weren't in the demo. What? So please look forward what to do you what do you mean? And then there's Oh, that's going to be weird. That lets you find oh, that's going to be up. weird, man. It's how do you exciting to face off against How many choices do you have? Oh my god, I have, I have too many questions right now. How many choices? Like how 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 in depth does that go? This game has a new Are we talking like one or two choices, or like the change your combo route? Like that—that's nuts to me. I—I well. I literally can't process that. Course, I'm still on that. To Jesus Christ! Explains the missing there, stuff from the trailers. Yeah. About to make me main Gunlance through all the way, pretty but much. Each hunter can Man, I said I wasn't gonna play Charge Blade at this point, but it's like I don't even know. The customization might make it fresh again for me, but I think I am still gonna go potentially Longsword or ideally I want to go Hammer, but there's no cut on that, so like cutting parts might be difficult for me if I'm doing solo quests. That's the only thing stopping me from going with Hammer. You're like anyway, Pelvites. Like, fuck, go back. Yeah, I'm like, I, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I still can't believe they're letting you customize that stuff, because for anybody who hasn't played the series, that's a first. You could set hunter arts in, like, Generations Ultimate, which are kind of like super moves you could do when you have the meter, but you can never, to my knowledge, you could never, ever change your standard attacks like that and, like, customize your moveset. Like, that's insane to me. Make sure you search every Three use map, map, yeah. for these creatures. You might find something unexpected. I had a feeling they might bring back some with uh, 3U. Each locale has new monsters with their own unique ecologies. Fluttered Forest is back. I do like Fluttered Forest. Almadron. Although, hopefully, visually, it looks a little better because it's like. It used to look kind of muddy. Speaking of. God, I have to get used to all these names again. Gus yeah, I love this dude. This is my new favorite. Look at that face. God. I hope the fight's not... Whoa, what is this one? Oh my god, that's right. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I've never seen the official art, so I forgot. I only saw it a tiny bit in a trailer once. God, these designs look great. Big fan. Tetronodon. Yeah, Big Chungus. <laughs> God. I do like how the community just calls him Chungus. Echnison. God, it still amazes me how many new designs I can just make for one game. Free. God, that's just free. And of course, Monster Hunter Rises flagship monster, Magnamalo. It's also known as the Wyvern of Malice, an extremely aggressive fanged wyvern that pursues. God, its is it gonna be as brutal as Nerhigante though? I'll have to see. Of course, many fan favorite monsters also make their return. We already announced Rajang, Kezu, <laughs> get out away from me, and Rathalos previously. I need an adult when I see Kezu. But today, we yes, ah, uh, my boy, and my boy. Zinogre as well. Now all I need is Bracadios. That's it. 
Now, Mr. Ichinose, the director if you're going to bring back three U maps, you got to bring back bracket deals. Come on, it's only fair. It's only fair. It's only a matter of time, people. Hi, everyone. I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter. Dopest armor I've seen it's in the series. Oh, it's again. armor set looks great. The Rampage is a quest type where you protect Kimura Village from hordes of monsters. You have to use hunting installations to repel them. Bring advanced locusts and set. <laughs> God. The quest is complete when all of the hordes have been repelled, or when the final major threat has been vanquished. This looks nuts. You start off by using the prep time before the monster invasion to place your hunting installations. Oh God. There's strategy to this. I gotta. Okay. Make sure you place them efficiently. Well, I guess at some point the internet will find out what the ideal set is. This looks nuts, man. When the counter signal is activated, your hunter's attack will increase dramatically. So My only fear, though, is, like, I worry how much you're going to have to grind this. If there's, like, only drops you get your from this mode. Well. Only because it'll be elongated with uh, having to fight multiple monsters. Like, let's say you want one drop from a specific monster that only drops in this mode, right? That's my one fear for this. But it looks cool. The goal is to defend the stronghold and repel the monsters. <laughs> Good lord. What about Apex Arzuros? And make sure no harm comes to the village. Oh, this doesn't tank the game at times? Yeah. It's a confined space, so it should be okay. Quests and but we'll see. To rise are divided into single-player village quests and hub quests that can be played solo or in multiplayer. Talk to the respective quest maidens to take on the quest. Okay, yeah, life. just like the old school one. In multiplayer, you can use an online Ugh, connection. I love this gathering hub. Look at this gathering hub. It's so pretty. Lobby. Oh my god, dude. Any player in the same lobby I love can it. take on a quest from the quest board in the gathering hub. You can use shortcuts to join quests in the lobby, even you if you're looking pretty clean too. Way. There are four levels of difficulty depending on the number of players. And the difficulty will adapt on the fly as players join. Yeah, thank God for this. This kind of ruined the world sometimes. If you know, you know. If the scaling in world was uh, you can use not the best. Let's put it that way. With other players via online Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Save myself some time. If you know, you know. If you're having trouble completing hub quests on your own. Like that should be a given. Players can but also add it was not. Connect tag to match up with other players who have the same objectives or play style. Also the Kurapeko mailbox is back. Oh my you god, wait. Your own Hunter Connect, what if they add Kurapeko back for Monster Hunter Rise? It's been forever. You can oh, that'd be nuts. Yourself to I don't, I'm not Connect sure if they would. Join. Think of all the event quests, though. Oh my god. The Kuropeko event quests are funny as shit. When you complete a quest in multiplayer, you can send likes to other players using the directional buttons before returning to the village. Oh. If two players give a like to each other, they'll become mutual likes, making it easier to find each other's lobbies directly. Interesting. Let's have a look it's at good for camera random camera players if you meet up with them. You take pictures on your hunts. You can zoom in and out and adjust the composition. The picture will display the name of the creature you photographed. You can view your pictures on your Nintendo Switch console or in the in-game album. If you're gonna take photos, wait until PC version. If you want to take a selfie, that shit's gonna look crisp. This adorable little creature will help you out. Oh, that's cool though. God. That quest about Tiny Kerpak that summons a tiny Vazelgoose. The <laughs> they probably would. Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. If you oh my god. Game, 
you can unlock the default rider armor as layered armor in Monster Hunter Rise. I freaking love Monster Hunter, man. On top of the deluxe kit, which I'm like, oh, I don't know what they're gonna announce today, and then they just shatter my brain with like a few of these announcements in just a few minutes. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, I love this series, man. As well as layered armor Never doubt it. Layered armor's back. Yeah, if they didn't bring that back, who people would be hounding them. At least, I'll, myself included, I'd be bugging them for that. The limited time demo that was made available in January what? Will make its grand Let's go! I saw people talking about this shit on Twitter! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what people are speculating on. This is what people were speculating, where it's like every demo has the flagship, but um, World did it differently. They had a second demo that added the flagship afterwards. People were totally right. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. I'm so down. We'll mess with that in a few days. Oh man. If you already played the demo in January, you can update it to this new demo to add oh, the cool. Malo quest. Makes it easier for me than I still haven't and uh, deleted it. Your remaining number of tries as well, so you can start a fresh. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. The four quests from the January demo are still available. So if you're playing the game for the first time, you might want to start with those. Good lord. Going back into at least fight the flagship. Actually, you know what? I should mess with the uh, switch axe as well. For our so I haven't messed with it. For today, have a look at the following trailer. Wait, there's more. That's totally... Wait, it's a new monster? Wait, never mind. Is it not? Okay, okay, it is. Sorry, the fact that they said new monster threw me off. I was like, I was about to say that's Camellios, right? But then they said new monster, so it threw me off. <laughs> oh. Single text on screen can just... <laughs> throw me off completely. <laughs> we are planning three updates for after but cool. The cool, cool, cool. I'm very glad they're still keeping up with the uh, free updates. The first update will include several new monsters, such as Camellios, which we announced today. It will also unlock your hunter rank cap and add some related features. <laughs> Cammy. We Cammy's a pretty good uh, short name for it. Time. Man. Getting the important items stolen again, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's look at the product info for Monster Hunter Rise one more time. Which I already put in my collector's edition. That March that shit's coming. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed though. I won't be able to start like midnight. There will be both a standard but um and a deluxe edition probably in the afternoon on that day, DLC. whenever it shows up in the mail. On the same day, we will also release three different amiibo. As a pre-order bonus, you can this also get still weird. armor for your Palico and Palamute. Man, well I still don't know, um... Help out during the early stages part of me of wants to stick with the Palamute for a good while, but it's like... So you I won't lie, I'm not like a super pro monster hunter, so it's like Palico could help me out. We hope you Palico would be good insurance show. for hunts too, so it's always going to be a thing to... Monster Mull Hunter over Stories every two, hunt. Wings of Ruin is releasing on Friday, July 9th, 2021. And Monster Hunter Rise will be available on Friday, March 26th. Peace version Thanks when it launches. Launching. I'll do up to that point. Using base version and playing catch up. Yeah, it's hard to say. Like, that's what I would want to, obviously. But it's hard to say because World had it staggered for some reason, which is not great um i really felt bad for pc players when like they finally got monster the world and it's behind for several months um man 
So, can I go back? No, oh man, I'd have to find the, um... <sighs> please tell me they uploaded it on, um... Something, please. Hold on, hold on. Is the VOD anywhere? Can you guys let me know? Wait, no. Uh, where is it? I do have a YouTube channel, right? Can I go backwards on this? God, no. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I actually go backwards? I just want to look at the trailer one more time. Like, I need to at least look at the whole, like, standard attack breakdown, because that shit is... Fucking what? Like, I need to understand. I need to process that. I really do. <laughs> uh, let me see. Also, yes, I know there's no audio. Actually, I'll go back and hear that theme for uh, an Ogre. Is the audio okay? Could put it up if need be. Alright, cool. Christ. The choir is so unnecessary, but I will take it. It's overkill, son. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out. Yeah, I might have just showed off the old ones. Let me uh, skip ahead a little bit. A true hero. Because I just need to get to the breakdown. Yeah, let's look around here, I think. First, let's talk about the wire bug, which brings a variety of new actions to the Great event quest. It provides Great sword. Ways to explore each locale more with these weapons from three. And they might, I don't know. Even fly the I mean, the only thing the series has gotten is just like an HD remaster of the first game, so who knows. Each of the 14 weapon types has its own unique set of attacks in the wire bug called silk bind attacks. You can also use the wirefall feature to dodge uh, no. damage. Oh wait, Vex, what were you freaking out about the when you said several? A lot of mobility to your move set like Is it because they announced like several free monster title now updates? I'd like to talk about switch skills, a completely new feature to expand your hunter's move set. Yeah, this shit. Let me understand this. As you progress in the game, you'll unlock the ability to switch out certain regular attacks and silk find attacks at will. To create your own hunting style. God. That is so insane to me. The full game will have additional silk bind attacks that weren't in the demo, so please. I can't fucking believe it. Like, I expected the silk bind attacks, but the standard attacks, I just can't. I cannot believe they only spent like five seconds explaining that. I can't believe it. Oh my god, dude. It's just barely there. And it's like, I know several people must have had their minds blown right now. <laughs> this game has a new oh my god. To assist you during your hunts, called the Was there anything else? You can ride on its back and it will attack monsters as well. Oh, this stuff. Let me look at the Flooded Forest of again. Of course, the Palicos are back too to provide various kinds of support. Several new monsters in one update. Just one like in the world. Oh, I missed that then. Damn, that's kind of nuts. Although I'd imagine for several, it's just like a lot of returning ones, so they can just, you know, reuse the assets. Let me get the flooded floor, because I think I was looking at chat when, um... There are five distinctive when it showed up. In this game. Shrine Ruins. Flood Still love this music, though. Total monsters. Okay, then I missed that part. <laughs> As I was confused about it being Camellios, I missed Sandy it. Plains. 
Lava Caverns. Oh, for so wait, is this the Lava Caverns from 3U? Each locale has its own unique characteristics. Oh, no, 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 never mind. For a second, that shot made it look like uh, one spot in 3U. new forms of endemic life that increase your hunter's stats or otherwise help out during your hunts. Make sure you search every nook and cranny Good for these Lord. creatures. You might find something unexpected. It's gonna be some weird stuff exploring out there, man. Each locale has new monsters with their own unique ecologies. Almadron. Trying to see if there's anything else here that I missed. Because I know this is like, you know, rapid fire, uh, showing off all the new ones. Rapna Kadaki. Hmm. No, they went over the rampage mode. Gus Harag. Okay, no, I didn't miss anything else. Um, let me look at that breakdown for the Camellio stuff for the free title update. Bishiten. Yeah, 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 so let me see. So, available from the end of April. Oh, God, that's going to be right after I finish playing Nier. <laughs> Jesus, how am I going to balance these games? Uh, So, let me see. So, we're getting, yeah, seven new monsters unlocked, high rank cap, and related features. Wait. Okay, no, so we're probably still going to have high rank, but I guess there's going to be a cap until the end of April. That's really weird. I'm not sure why they would do it like that, but... Okay. Um And then I guess yeah, the next one's gonna be several more new monsters. So it's like not only several for the first one, but it's like several for both. I'm like, Jesus. We are planning three updates for after well, the game's release. The bracket the OS waiting room still continues for me. The first update will include several new monsters, such as Camellios, which we announced today. Prefer, prefer this to the drip feed approach? Oh, for sure. It will also unlock. Because for me, it was like I get excited features. for a little bit when World got some, but like we will tell you about other updates. At a later it would time. still, I don't know. It was only one monster, so it's like I'd rather have just like a lot of them. I'd rather wait more months for just. Oh shit. Here's several hours of content, because now it's like three monsters as opposed to just the one, right? The game releases on Friday. Which granted, one monster, if it's like Rajang and Iceborne, that will take you hours, because I've heard that dude's uh, kind of rough. There will be both a standard edition and a deluxe edition. Alright, um, but I think that'll do it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else major. I could just leave it on this logo if it decides to load or not. It can decide not to load. Okay, cool. Spiteful. All right, whatever. I'll leave it on this. Good enough. Um, but no, it's cool. Let me see. Did uh, the shin message or anything? No, yeah, no message. But uh, yeah, holy uh, holy shit! It's a lot of good news. So, definitely, definitely, I'm really excited about the customization for move sets. Um, I'm probably still gonna go longsword, but ah, oh God, hammer's really calling to me. I'm just not sure if I want to like sacrifice not being able to cut like tails or anything, right? Like that's a uh, that's the difficult part. Is that hammer is really fun, but if I want to get certain cards or like you know tail cuts. I'm going to have to rely on other people, and that's going to be rough. Um, so I might go Longsword. I might go Switch Axe. I don't know. I'm still trying to search for my weapon, so I might mess with uh, some of them again uh, with the second demo, which is really cool. People were speculating they were absolutely right. Um, that I guess now we're going to be checking out the flagship second demo. A uh, whole idea of Onimusha's Event Quest and Rise. Form, original one, three, or both. Like, why not? Oh, I haven't played the series. Uh, I would not know. But I'm sure they could do, like, they'll, they'll definitely think of something. Um, makes me wonder if they're gonna do the Devil May Cry, uh, collab event again. They might, who knows. But, anyway, 
uh, this is very good news. Uh, I'm not a pro Monster Hunter player, so I'm sure there was a lot more info in there that I just don't know about. Um, but even speaking as a casual Monster Hunter fan, holy shit, this game's looking great. Uh, <laughs> I've mentioned that before and I'll say it again. I'm incredibly excited about Rise because for as much as everyone else liked World and Iceborne, I couldn't get into them as much as I would have liked. Um, because the clutch clock kind of made things a little awkward for the gameplay in Iceborne. I feel like it kind of, it wasn't like, this is always the example I talk about where it's like the clutch claw versus the wire bug is completely different in terms of like gameplay. Because the wire bug feels like an option. You don't have to do it every time, but it's there. It's utility and it's something that's always there. But the clutch claw felt like you kind of needed to use it a lot more in Iceborne. They incentivized it too much. Um, and even then, like, World for me, it's like, it was good, but man, it, it definitely didn't have, like, it wasn't flawless. It had its issues with co-op, and like, as you're trying to make for uh, story progress, there were a few problems. But the big one for me was like, the limited time quests, when like, there was like, a festival or stuff going on. I'm like, it's cool for those who always keep playing the game, but for someone like me who was playing other games at the time, I was like, I can barely do any of these events. Like, I have to drop everything I'm doing for this thing that happens for, like, a week, you know? Um, but thankfully with Rise, they've mentioned, I believe, in interviews that you can just do whichever ones you want whenever they're released. No timer, uh, no limited time things, and I'm like, thank God, um, Rise is more up my alley, just like the old school games, with the quality of life changes, so I'm like, I'm incredibly down for this. Uh, I cannot wait to play this in about, uh two weeks i think it's like 16 or 17 days from now might be 18 but somewhere around that time um it's coming out on a friday which is weird i thought they usually come out on tuesdays but um it looks great it looks great i'm excited and uh i'm looking forward to playing it when it comes out i'll also be messing with uh with that demo a little bit at least for a day you know maybe uh two or three hours I don't think I'm going to play it as much as, like, other people, you know, where it's like, oh, man, new demo, gotta, gotta grind it out. I'm like, no, I'll save all the grinding and all the hours for the actual game, thank you. But, uh, it should be a fun time. Either way, uh, thank you guys for, uh, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, not going to be streaming anything else today. This just happened because I forgot it was today. So, um... That'll do it for me. Uh, I still gotta get the, the video done, which... God, it's like right there. I just need to tweak a few things and I'm still trying to figure out how the I'm having a weird issue where like the audio isn't coming out the same way that I'm hearing it on the actual video editing program, so I need to troubleshoot that shit too. Uh it's it's close. It's very close. If I if I do it right, it might be out tomorrow, but we'll see. Um technology, man. Fighting back even when you're almost there. <laughs> so I'll figure it out. But either way, uh that's going to do it for me. So you guys have a good rest of your day. Take care. And uh, I'll see you, I guess, potentially like two days from now. Whenever that demo comes out is when I'll be uh, streaming, most likely. So I'll see you then, maybe earlier. I don't know. We'll see. But either way, I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a good rest of your day. And take care. I'll see you guys later.